Most of the poorest women on the planet give birth at home, often without experienced support. And as a result, many women and babies die unnecessarily every year. But we know that early intervention works. Antenatal care and treatment in the first days and weeks postpartum can prevent at least two-thirds of newborn deaths. And 80% of maternal deaths are preventable with a set of proven interventions delivered by a skilled attendant. But for many women, a phone signal is more likely to reach their home than a community health worker. Baby Monitor takes clinical screening directly to women in the critical period before and after delivery. Here's how it works. A woman receives a call. She listens and responds by pressing a key. Baby Monitor in the cloud assesses her responses and takes action. Hi, my name is Eric and I'm leading the Baby Monitor project. A year ago, we accepted seed funding to test our idea in Kenya. And we were asked to make a short video detailing our progress and addressing the theme meeting women where they are. It's a great theme for Baby Monitor because it's exactly what we're trying to do. Take clinical screening directly to women who might not otherwise be able to access care. Let me tell you about what we've been up to. One of the first steps in the development process was something called Wizard of Oz testing. This is where we, without building anything, we mock up what the system would look like calling the women. So we have our wizard, Edwin, our project manager in Kenya, Here's our woman, Lisper. She's volunteering for this call. Edwin and I are sitting in one room, connected by Skype to our volunteer who's in a separate room. Edwin's pretending to be a computer, and he only knows what to say when I tell him what to say. And my responses are based on what Lisper's inputting into the computer. She thinks Edwin is a real computer. She doesn't know he's a real person. It is normal for women to experience vaginal discharge after giving birth. But some discharge is a sign that you should see a nurse. Since you gave birth, have you experienced any vaginal discharge that had a bad odor? If yes, press 1. If no, press 2. After the test, we pull back the curtain and get her feedback on the process. I'm going to show you how we're using Insteads for voice application to create Baby Monitor. I go to their website. I'm already signed in, so I'm going to click on View Your Projects. Our workflow is pretty complex because we're asking a lot of questions and we need to determine if we're speaking to the right woman or if someone else is answering the phone. This is the high step where we're saying hi, this is a CEO from Baby Monitor. And we've already recorded the audio for this, and this is what it sounds like. Jambo, Jinalangu ni Asia. Kutoka baby monitor. If the woman says yes, uh, presses one that it's her, then we're going through to figure out if she's experiencing a current emergency. If so, we're going to try to figure out what's going on and uh, divert the call to our clinical partner, Jacaranda Health. Uh, if, if she can talk now and there's no emergency, then we're going to ask her the routine screening questions. With a good product in development, our next step was to recruit pregnant women to participate in the study. We screened 200 women for a final sample of about 90. So Edwin, we had our first day of uh, baby monitor calls yesterday. It was uh, our test call to the women, and it seemed to go really well. Uh, you know, over half of the calls uh, connected, and two-thirds of the women who answered uh, completed successfully. So still some things to work out, but it yeah. was a really good first day. Uh, what do you think? It was quite straightforward, like for most of them. They could receive the call and just follow the instructions and um, uh, put in the figures. Well, I see you have someone uh, next to you. Who's who's in the picture here? Yeah, we have Madeline. She's, uh, she's, she's the baby monitor voice. And you have such a nice voice. And even though it's just a computer calling them, uh, really, you're the, you're the voice that they're going to come to know. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Good to hear. This video, you know, might be seen by uh, uh, finalists in the next round of Saving Lives at Birth. Do you have any advice for uh, people who are going to maybe get the same type of grant that we have? Yeah, I mean, like, um, if the idea is um, out there, you, they've conceptualized the idea, uh, they shouldn't be afraid of, like, um, failure, sort of. So it's good to just test it and see whether it works or doesn't work. All right. <laughs> Go, go enjoy your uh, evening in Nairobi, and uh, we'll talk tomorrow.